Cruising on the Norwegian Star, we had enjoyed our ports of call in Iceland and Norway. And then we got to Alta. Anytime you approach a port in Norway, the scenery is going to be incredible. This is our sail into Alta, Norway. It's a tender port, which means that the lifeboats double as a way to get to and from the ship to shore. As we sat in our cabin waiting for our group to be called for our turn to go ashore, we could see them moving back and forth. The tendering process had started at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't get called until about 4 o'clock. This was even after they lowered additional boats to help with the tendering. On this day, this process was not working well. I'd be lying if I said I waited patiently, but I'd be telling the truth if I said it took two hours to finally get aboard a tender. We were finally aboard and on our way to Alta. The tenders docked at a location that actually wasn't all that close to the city center. On the other hand, it was only about two and a half miles, but we paid $20 each way for a shuttle bus. My first thought was that this is gonna be a worthwhile investment because this area around the port was really nothing to see. There did seem to be some brave souls who tried to walk it. As we got closer to our destination, I noticed that the architecture wasn't changing. It was all new. Okay, so we got to the drop-off area, and it was a spot between two shopping malls. There was nothing else of note that was within walking distance. Well, that's not completely true. The cathedral was within walking distance, but we were going to be going there the next day. So, let's have a look around the mall. It was very small town mall-like. At least I could get a chocolate milkshake, or a hot chocolate, since my Norwegian was so poor. Then I was back to looking around, and look, I did get a Norwegian national team soccer jersey, which was really a cool souvenir. So it wasn't all bad. But you know what, guys? This one was not worth it. Not all done. Nothing to do. But here's the frustrating part. From the town, you could see some beautiful scenery not that far away. But that would be tomorrow's excursion, so we got back on the bus and went back to the harbor. I still had hopes things would get better. Well, maybe tomorrow when you try it with an excursion. Well, that was bad. That was just legitimately bad. He paid $20 to be shuttled into the center of town and there was nothing to do in the center of town. We'll see if they can redeem themselves tomorrow. The next morning, we tendered in bright and early at about 7 a.m. There's no problem getting on the tender boat this time because when you're with an excursion, you get priority. And we were ready for Leisurely Alta, a sightseeing bus tour. We have a very young and very inexperienced tour guide here. Now, maybe it's my fault that I didn't do enough research, but you would think that Norwegian Cruise Lines would know about what you would and wouldn't be able to do if you took this excursion. For example, did you know that the Cathedral of the Northern Lights in Alta is closed on Sunday mornings? I bet NCL did. Alta was a town that was rebuilt fast after World War II, and it shows.
Okay, here's the Alta Church. It was built in 1858 and it had survived the German destruction of the town, but it's closed on Sunday mornings. That left tour members wandering aimlessly around a graveyard, which was kind of funny. A sister ship, which was the yeah, Miss Mark, which was sunk off the coast of France. Uh, now the Tirpitz, uh, which was stationed up here because it's one of the northernmost uh, ports that don't free, usually freeze over in the winter, uh, which made it ideal for harassing um, Allied ships in the Atlantic. And um, so they would get repairs because they didn't have the facilities to do that uh, up here. Uh, the Alta Museum is a World Heritage Center for rock carvings. It's also not open on Sunday mornings. There were excursions that went further out of town, and about now I was thinking that would have been the way to go. At least the scenery doesn't have opening hours. Once the tour was over, there was no time left to do anything but go back to the ship. But yes, it's still a beautiful location. So what exactly was happening here? Norwegian Cruise Lines had to know that it was a Sunday morning that they were going to have us go on the Leisurely Alta tour and that the things that they had advertised we would see would be closed and that the cost was not reduced for that, much less were we informed. Maybe I could have read about it, but I didn't know I had to. A couple of months before the cruise, they had altered the cruise itinerary, which probably changed our times in port, maybe even our day here. I am completely prepared to believe that there are times when this is a very nice little excursion. Overall, as it worked out though, we went to a shopping mall. We saw a bunch of closed buildings. It took time in two days to do that. And I'm mad about this one. NCL, we deserve better.